and welcome to Indian Express Online. We are here gathered today to discuss today's MCD polls in which BJP has got 181 seats, Congress have got 30 seats and AAP has got 48 seats. So it is a major dent for AAP vis-a-vis -vis the 2015 elections. They have lost a lot of constituencies, assembly constituencies as well. Here I have my colleague Shweta Veta with me who is covering AAP. And let's go to Shweta to ask what went wrong with AAP. Shweta. But yeah, um, the AAP is still very stuck on the complaint against unions being tampered. They uh, still very firmly believe that there, there was something wrong uh, with the EVMs. They refuse to introspect, though only one of their ministers, Kapil Mishra, has uh, said that the party needs to introspect at this point and see what uh, they've done wrong, what, what has gone wrong with the party's strategy or uh, you know, work so far. But uh, when it comes to uh, the party chief, Arvind Kejriwal, or say the party's top leadership, <coughs> they still feel that uh, there is something wrong with the EVMs and they would blame uh, the EVMs and the election commission for not um, uh, introducing say, the VVPAT machines uh, on at least 10% of the EVMs. So uh, they are still passing the buck and uh, they refuse to introspect, uh, though some of their um, uh, one, one MLA and uh, their uh, Delhi unit convener has uh, offered to uh, resign from their posts, taking responsibility for it. But there is uh, no, of course, the, the party leadership has huddled at um, Kejriwal's residence today. Kejriwal had uh, told uh, party observers uh, yesterday that they would launch uh, a movement against uh, tampered EVMs and uh, malpractices in uh, polling. So, uh, Lot of dissenting voices in the party then. Yes, there is some trouble uh, <laughs> for now. But um, what they're now seeking solace from is uh, that they have their uh, they have more sh more seats than the Congress does. <laughs> well, yeah. So that, that's the only thing that uh, is now keeping them going. But Nabi, what, what do you think? You know, why why do you think that the Congress failed so miserably? You know. Um, Congress is really hoping uh, that they will be the number two party in, in the city and they will drive up down to number three. But uh, yesterday when I spoke to some of their leaders, the mood was very dismal. It was very obvious to them that they weren't going to do that. And they maintained a line that we will retain um, our 77 seats that we won last time. But they haven't even managed to do that. Uh, the party is down to 30 seats. A lot of it internally they um, a lot to the fact attribute to the fact that uh, AAP cuts into their traditional vote share, mm -hmm. but um, outside the party people talk about how many senior AAP leaders have been alienated by uh, current party chief uh, who actually resigned today uh, Ajay Makan, um, former DPCC chief uh, Arvinder Singh lovely quit at the last minute. Uh, a lot of former uh, MLA said they will quit the uh, they will quit the party because candidates who they wanted to have tickets to run in these elections did not get tickets. Um, but overall, I mean, if you saw their plan, nothing could have gone wrong, but uh, they're down to their worst possible MCD performance after their worst possible ML, uh, assembly performance in 2015. I think the election works only for the BJP yeah. this time. And I what agree. Do you, what do you think the, was the trick that worked for uh, BJP? I think everything time? they decided on, like right from changing every councillor, sitting councillor, to their booth management, booth planning, to their door-to-door -door campaigns and I think every strategy worked for them from social media online, from propagating that Kejriwal is all about negative politics, that played a ma major role in this. They Earlier they decided that they won't criticize Kejriwal but then they realized that the, that the negative campaign by AAP is really hurting people and that is they played upon majorly and they the day they decided that they will launch fresh faces, I think they actually win half of the elections by defeating empty incumbency. It's not that everything worked for BJP from the right, from the beginning, because there were rebels. They wanted, they, the rebels thought that they have the hold in their areas, which they had, and that's why they fielded themselves as independents. And at the last moment, BJP had to focus about the seats because their candidates were proven invalid. They couldn't file the nominations properly. So these were the hurdles they faced. But all that ends well is always well. So that, I think, the BJP cadre is 
like riding on Modi wave right now. And every leader in the party still believes it is Amit Shah and Modi who drove to them this victory. Otherwise, the chances were bleak. So it was actually Modi wave that yeah. made BJP win this election. I think the other thing is that uh, since I cover MCD also, I think uh, during these last two years when they've had financial difficulties in all three corporations, the BJP has managed to translate uh, and tell its voter and its employees, all of them, very well that the crisis is because of the Aam Aadmi Party and not the BJP's doing. So every time there was a crisis and, the, and the, these employees came to their doorstep, mm -hmm. all BJP office bearers told them that we want to do well for you, we don't want your children to suffer, but it's the Aam Aadmi Party that is not giving you, giving us funds to give you salaries. So I think that they got, uh, they, they told their uh, electorate very early on and that helped them. I also believe that because this is what BJP played upon also. You remember the Vin Kejriwal video where he said that, you know, if you don't vote, if you vote for BJP, then the dengue, if your kid has the dengue, it is their responsibility then. That really so that really backfired because people saying something against your kids really hit the voter hard. And that is what BJP propagated at the end of the campaigning again and again through social media, through door to door, in the public meetings and all. So that really was the uh, for BJP it's, it was very important to come back to power this time because they had to defeat up to ensure that Modi wave is still going on after a very bad defeat in 2015 assembly election where they won only just three seats so well, Isn't that what, uh, this is a new mandate for yes. also, like, this is the stepping stone to 2019 2019 yes yeah. so finally there also prospects for uh, 2020 yes. hmm. the assembly elections, assembly elections. When, uh, AAP will actually be facing a lot of N, yes, and to incumbency also. So that's all we have for the MCT election analysis from Indian Express team. Thank you so much.